it's a girl i'm in day here and just in case you're saying on my face for the first time you're welcome to join us so guys today we're gonna be reacting to um the world you i'm talking you know the f word you i'm talking student loses it while debating ben shapiro okay let's get into it guys before i ask my question so are your do you come from holocaust survivors or are you a jewish family that didn't. Uh, so my great great grandparents arrived here. A lot mm. of our extended family was killed in the Holocaust, but but our army. Your family great great grandparents, not. but not your grandparents. Right. Oh, do you have friends whose grandparents were Holocaust survivors or anything like that? Of course, that? many of them. Yeah, I've written, I've, I've helped, uh, I've helped write memoirs of Holocaust. Survivors. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Their families are kind of messed up, right? Uh, like my family is very messed up. I mean, if you they, go through a teach, trauma like the Holocaust, they, I would imagine they teach that trauma between generations. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, trauma very often in a lot of circumstances is passed down. I mean, I know some kids of Holocaust survivors who turned out fantastic and some who didn't. I mean, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Is. Okay. So okay. you are officially woke. That is what wokeness is about. It's like, uh, you know, people's grandparents or their great grandparents were slaves. Well, it's okay. No, no, it's okay. That's Fuck okay. you. I'm I want, talking. Guys, I want. I actually want to hear, no, no, I, want, I want to hear, I, no, it's guy, okay, it's okay, I, I, I want, I want to, I want to hear, hear the, let's at least hear the argument. Let's, okay, so let's, let's hear it, let's hear it, go. What? He wants to hear me. I do want to hear it, it's fine, let he him go. Hear Let, let's hear it. Come on. Come on. I'll just, you know, so I'm ex talking. explain Come how on. that's woke. So, I mean, the whole thing is, is like, oh, let's see. So during <sighs> Silent Cal, Calvin Coolidge's administration, do you know about like the great Mississippi flood back in the 1930s? I understand that American history is filled with racial evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that causes some intergenerational trauma, which affects people's ability to be, you okay, know, so let me, effective, let me, okay. and things like that. Fine. So let me ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, so if the idea is that history has consequences, of course that's true. That's not yeah, wokeness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is not wokeness. What wokeness suggests is that fundamental institutions in American society no, are so... No, it doesn't. Yes, I, it 100% I ran. Does. I ran Elizabeth Warren's campaign. I helped organize her volunteers around here. I am, I am a representative of wokeness. Okay. Well, and that's just, I mean, this is all it is. Well, I mean, like, I mean, I, I, you know, I when, hope I, that, when uh, I went to go get my first tattoo, I, I, the guy I, I, had lightning bolts and 88s tattooed on his neck. And as a Jewish person, um, that's really messed up. It's, so it's basically a threat. There are, there are racist people who exist. The argument that you're making, and I'm going to close with this because this is going in weird directions, and I don't really no, want to... No, no, no. It's not I, going I don't, in a weird direction. I don't really direction. want to... Get, no, just hold this up a is, second. This I, let, is I let you get out your arguments, and that's, now it's time for me to respond, because I let you say Okay, I'll let you respond, but... No, 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 not but. Now's you, my turn. You, you are not characterizing but, what I'm saying accurately. Now, now, it's, now it's my turn. Your, your, yeah. your definition is inaccurate. The reason your definition is inaccurate is because any sentient human being would acknowledge that history has consequences. Right. But if the idea is, but that's not what wokeism is. Wokeism is a different thing. Wokeism suggests that all inequalities of today are attributable to not only historic injustices, but also continuing injustices in the now. And I've that never all disparity is attributable to discrimination. Like that, but a not just that. Not a just conservative that. is the not only ju person. Not and just I want to know why. Why is it that conservatives are the only people who define it like that? Why, why are conservatives? The okay. only people. Okay. okay, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to stop here because this is going nowhere. But What's up? I, I, we're, I'm gonna have to stop with this with you because this is going nowhere. All I'm going well, to say is this. To no, sum up, I, I just I, am I, trying I, to I, understand I your perspective. On a, just one more second. On a, it's, on you a, say on a on a fundamental on a fundamental level, you're shifting definitions to avoid the consequences correct? of your own argument. And if the idea is. And, fi and, and final point, speech. and final this point, and final point, if I you are going you to, hold on, warrior. if you are also, also, just final point to sum up there. Final well, point I don't to sum up there. I can follow that. Yeah, but, uh, one more, I just want to make, honestly, I want to make one final point to sum up there. If the idea is that traumas of the past invariably bleed down into the present, that does not explain why certain groups that have been historically not only marginalized but slaughtered in mass genocide are some of the most successful groups in our society. So if the idea is... 
If the idea is that past trauma always equals current inequality, or that my actions in, say, robbing a convenience store are attributable to bad actions that happened in Alabama in 1930, the answer to that is no. Don't rob the convenience store. The only way they are going to be able to break the chain of history is to make good decisions. What, what people on the left don't like to talk about is actual solutions. What they like to do is bitch about problems that existed 60 years ago and blame those for failures to solve them now.